Good morning, kindy children. It's Mrs. Tracy. It's lovely to see you all. Today, we're going to listen to a story that I'm going to read called Room on the Broom. And it's written by Julia Donaldson and Alex Schneffner. Are we ready? Okay. Room on the Broom. writing on that page. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Blew the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thunderous paws, there bounced a dog, and the hat oh, was in his paws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I'm a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and swish, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away flew the bow on her long ginger plait. Oh no, now she's lost her bow. Well, let's see what happens. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird, and the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. She said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I'm a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and swish. They were gone. Uh oh, it's raining. Over the reeds and the river they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow. Oh, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. And they're looking. All of a sudden, from out of the pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I'm a frog! As clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? <laughs> yes, said the witch. So the frog bounced on. The witch tapped the broomstick and swish, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy and... 
the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling, oh, into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh no, what's gonna happen? I'm a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licked his lips. Said, maybe this once I'll have witch without even chips. Ooh, looks like she's done for. Let's see what happens. Oh. But just as he planned to begin on his feast from out of the ditch, rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yell and a growl and a croak and a screech. It dripped and it squished as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! Oh, the dragon looks pretty scared. Look at that monster. I wonder if we know what it is. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm so so sorry, he spluttered. I, I made a mistake. It's, it's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's inside. Oh, they all look pretty happy. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They flew them all up into the, the witch stirred them as well. And she, while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Liggy, siggy, zaggy, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom the seats with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog a nest for the bird and even a shower for the frog yes cried the witch and they all clampered on the witch tapped the broomstick and swish they were gone what a fancy Fancy ride they've got now. Let's see. They all got seats and showers. They all look happier. And there's the witch's hat and broom. All the things that fell off. Have a good look and I'll ask you again what the witch lost on her journey. Remember any of the things that the witch lost? 
have a think about it and see if you can remember. Hope you enjoyed the story. I liked reading it to you. Hope to see you back soon. Now, Kindy, I'll read you another story another day. Bye.